Hi, this is Gina Hughes from TechEdiva.com, and I'm here with Laura Cheney at the HP Studios, where we're going to go over the HP Media Smart software. Laura here is going to show us the photo editing feature. So, Laura. Okay, cool. Well, uh, first, just to start off, why do we care about the photo editing? Obviously, po pictures have become a huge part of our lives, right? Do you exactly. have a uh, cell phone with yeah. a camera? Yes. Digital uh, camera, cell phone, I mean, right? everything takes photos today. Right? Exactly. And most of us have both, right? So we've got tons and tons of pictures. And what this Media Smart software is really going to do for us is it's going to allow us to experience our pictures in a different way. It's going to allow us to organize it. All right, so let's take a look. Uh, we'll go ahead and click on the HP Media Smart icon, and you're going to see this is basically uh, all of our media right here, but we're going to focus on the photos today. So you'll see all of your folders here, and uh, we're just going to go and click in one and snap on a picture to show what you can do with the editing capabilities. So you can see that you can change it by rotating it, which we obviously need to do. Uh, you can crop it as well, so if you wanted to cut out the trees or what have you. Uh, auto enhance, this is my favorite one, especially for this picture. We'll click on that and you can wow. see the difference. Isn't that wow. huge? Yeah, it looks a lot clearer. I mean, that's amazing. Unbelievable. Yeah. So even a picture taken from a, a cell phone can turn out to look like it was taken at least from a nice camera. Uh, you can also fix the red eye as well and you can tag the photo. So do you know why you'd want to tag a photo? Well, I've seen it on Facebook and a lot of people do it on, on Facebook and Flickr and all those places so that you can find photos. Is that how it works? Pre here? Pretty much, almost. Yeah. This is basically, that's that's it. You just want to be able to name your photos. So if you wanted to group out, like for example, let's say I went to a bunch of different beaches around the world, right? And I wanted to look at all the beaches that I'd been to. So I have all these different files. If I just name them all beach, then I can type in yeah. beach and they'll all come up, right? It's perfect, yeah. So, or else if you have one that you just wanted to uh, find, like if I wanted just to find this one water fountain right here, water fountain, <laughs> then you can go ahead and just name it for that. So if you wanted to find a specific photo, you could do it that way too. Another thing that you can actually do as well, as you see here, is you can rate your pictures. Oh. Um, so, you know, why you would do this, mostly uh, the, the way I use it is if I have a lot of photos that I really like, ones that I want to show my friends, like my favorites, I'll yeah. go ahead and rate them five stars. You can go to ratings, click on ratings, and then you'll find all of your folders that have three stars, four stars, five stars, and so you kind of know uh, which ones that you want to show your friends. Or maybe you want to play a slideshow and you only want your favorites to be on the slideshow. All right, so that's it. Um, hopefully you found new and exciting ways to experience your photos and feel free to explore. Well, thanks, Laura. Now, if you guys want to find more information about this demo and others, check out hp.com. I'm Gina. And I'm Laura. Thanks for watching.